Good morning, and welcome to your weekly message from First Congregational Church, Milford, New Hampshire. I'm your pastor, Al Hoyt. Today is Thursday, April 13th. From 9.30 this morning until noon, the garden friends will be on the grounds. Um, at 10 this morning, I will be going over to Bedford Falls to do my monthly worship service there. At 7.30 this evening, the choir will be rehearsing in the sanctuary. Tomorrow, Friday, April 14th, Christian education campership applications are due in the church office by noon. Saturday, April 15th, the, your May greeting articles are due. Uh, at 7.30 a.m., men's breakfast with, will be at the Masonic Hall. Hope to see many of you there. Sunday, April 16th, <clears throat> is Humor Sunday, something that we have looked, we look forward to has become a tradition in this congregation for over 10 years. Uh, from At 9 o'clock will be adult Bible study in the parish house. 10 is our live worship service and live streamed worship service. Following the church service is coffee hour. Um, also following the church service, the Board of Christian Education will be meeting in the parlor. I will be sending out a Zoom link in case anyone can't be there, but we hope to see most of you there. Tuesday, April 18th, the Sauhegan Valley Chorus will be rehearsing from 6.30 to 9 in the sanctuary. Wednesday, April 19th, the Board of Trustees will be meeting, a hybrid meeting, and the link will go out that afternoon. It's already been set up. <clears throat> Thursday, April 20th, from 9.30 to noon is Garden Friends. Uh, at 7.30 again is Choir Rehearsal. Saturday, April 22nd is Earth Day. So, we need to know all of the college graduates at any level. Uh, and high school graduates. We won't necessarily know everyone who's reaching a major milestone. So please make an effort to contact Carol um, in the office and let her know your family members are included in our dedications. We don't want to leave anyone out. Um, as has become the tradition here, I make a video every year of the graduates and the youngsters that have reached significant milestones. If a student is graduating from college, we would like to know the name of the college, the degree, any distinctions they've, and any future plans they have. If a student's graduating from high school, let us know of the, any distinctions they've had, what college they plan to attend or what they plan to do in the fall. Um, we'd love to hear about all of that. We'd also love to hear about um, children that are going from nursery to kindergarten, children that are going from elementary school to middle school, uh, from middle school to high school, those are all significant milestones as well. And we'd like to, we'd like to share those joys with everyone. So um, send us a video, I mean, a, a still picture, a little bit about what, where, what they're moving on to. And so we can create that video that we've been making every year. Thank you. <clears throat> So last week, this Holy Week, um, was for me one of the busiest year, weeks of the year, but also one of the most important and moving for all Christians. Um, we, are, we like to make a big deal about Christmas and the birth of Christ, but in reality, Christianity is about the resurrection. We are a resurrection people, and we should be... We, it should be the most important Christian holiday of, of the calendar year. Um, I was very moved by the Monday Thursday service, as I always am. Um, the Good Friday cantata that we shared with the Milford United Methodist Church was incredibly moving. It was incredibly powerful. And it was real joy to, to be together and have that service with the Milford United Methodist Church. I was talking to Jenner Doty and Kim um, last night, actually, and there was some discussion about making that. This is the second year in a row we've done a Good Friday cantata with the Methodist Church, and it, there was some discussion about maybe making this a permanent, a permanent event. Uh, we heard many people compliment the overall chorus, but we also heard quite a few people compliment our church choir 
and what a range of sound we were able to produce with only 11 people. So I think that that speaks a lot, not only to, to the members of our choir, but also to the direction of both our choir and the Methodist choir. It doesn't hurt that Jen and Kim have worked together for many, many years, and that um, most of us have worked with Jen and Kim for a lot of years as well. So I hope that you enjoyed it as much um, and found it as meaningful as most of us in the choir did. Um, I want to thank Pastor John and Pastor Sheila for participating and reading and doing such a beautiful job in presenting the whole story of Monday Thursday. So on a completely different note, the Milford Amherst Rotary Club is hosting their annual 100 Holes of Golf in One Day charity tournament. It'll be held June 16th. And as part of that tournament, one of the biggest fundraisers the club has is selling raffle tickets. Um, the raffle tickets give you five chances to win fairly large amounts of cash, but they also include coupons for things like $10 off a meal at um, Giorgio's if it's under $50 or $20 off if it's over $100. Um, it gives you coupons for Papa Joe's uh, Humble Kitchen, coupons for Aroma Joe's uh, Coffee. And there's all kinds of other things in there that are worthwhile for the, uh, with the coupons. The Rotary tickets will be coming out via email. Carol will be sending out the link. And this year, like last year, we have teamed up with the Rotary Club and become what's called a 50-50 sponsor. So that for every ticket you buy, the tickets are $20 a piece, but for every ticket you buy, $10 of which goes right back to the church. And I think that's absolutely wonderful that $10 of that ticket comes right back to us. We made a few hundred dollars last year. I'm hoping to beat that this year. So please consider purchasing a raffle ticket or two. Um, you have your choice. If you don't want the coupons, there's a little block you check. It says, no, thank you. If you would really rather have a paper ticket, please contact either myself or Verna, and we will arrange to get you a paper ticket. Um, they're not printing a lot of them, but they have some available, so let us know and we'll get you one. But I ask, please consider, and if you have friends that might uh, also consider supporting the Rotary, please do. The Rotary Club, as you know, um, does all kinds of service projects all over town. We fund all kinds of projects. Little League fields, um, gardens, um, we, we support the Milford Garden Club, we support... Uh, Milford Thrives, the Boys and Girls Clubs, we support almost everything that the club raises comes right back to the communities that we support. So I wish, I hope you'll, you'll consider supporting the Milford Rotary. Um, as you might remember, these guys right here was through the Milford Rotary, Rotary District, <coughs> where we've raised enough to build field hospitals, provide generators for hospitals, and reception centers for orphans in Poland from the Ukrainian war. So there's a lot of good work being done out there, and a lot of it's being funded by Rotary. So I hope you will consider supporting, supporting this. And with that, please join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Well, it has been a hectic time. As you can tell, I'm taking a little bit of time off this week. I have some appointments that I have to fulfill all over the place. And um, I'll be back in the office next week and looking forward to getting back to it. But I have really enjoyed having a little bit of relaxed time here. So um, until we see each other again, please take good care of yourself. Take 
good care of each other. And God bless you.